Adventurous Carrie here. We're on day three of our seven-week Odyssey road trip around the country. We left on Thursday during a tropical storm in North Carolina, and we landed Saturday night in Palm Coast, Florida to visit our good friends Lenny and Karen. And for the last couple of days, uh, Karen and I have been coming out to the beaches and doing our shell collecting and walking and so forth. Yesterday, the boys uh, were watching football and we were hanging out at their pool. So come follow me and I'll give you a little recap of what we've been doing the last two days. It's Sunday morning in Palm Coast. We got here last night about 9.30. And uh, first thing we're doing is walking the little man, and then I'm going to feed him breakfast. Everybody else is still sleeping, but uh, we stayed up till about midnight with our friends Lenny and Karen. And Sir Henry is blind, so sometimes he kind of wanders all over the place, and I have to kind of lead him to make sure he doesn't run into anything. And then next I'm going to feed him. After I got done walking Sir Henry, Karen suggested we finish our coffee out at the beach. So we drove over the intercoastal waterway through the hammocks to Jungle Hut Beach. Henry, you're in your happy place. Come on, buddy. He's not quite sure about the sand. at the waves. So what's over here? This is an area where a sea turtle came out and laid eggs and it's protected and a, a couple has adopted the spot and that's what that sign is. So, so it's all cordoned off pass. with the green. Yep. So when the eggs hatch, they'll go to the So this beach is just made up of nothing but crushed shells everywhere. And sometimes we can find Big shell. So we're at low tide right now. God, so this whole beach, look at that. It's nothing but shell. We're at low tide. I wish I would have brought a jar. I would have just scooped up a whole bunch of these little broken up shells. Those would make oh, so many things I could do with this. I see a lot of these rocks on the beach. What is this? It's a coquina rock. Coquina rock, and so it's all made of shell. So there's a bunch of shells like I just picked up, and then they just kind of merge together. Yes. And and going around your neighborhood, I see a lot of big ones that can mm -hmm. get really huge. These are cool. Those 
better be careful. A big wave's going to come and get you. After about an hour at the beach, Karen and I drove around Palm Coast, got some adult beverages, and then came back to their house where they had some friends come over and the boys watched football. And the ladies pretty much swam in their pool. It was really nice Sunday afternoon. The weather was great and we really enjoyed it. And we really want to thank our friends, Karen and Lenny. They are awesome. And I really love their pool area. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's a gecko. And then after uh, Lenny helped George put on our rain deflectors on the van, that's something new that we're adding. And it was a beautiful night, great sunset. It's Monday morning and Karen and I are driving down the A1A towards Mantanza Beach, which is over on our right. And it's about 20 minutes from her house in Palm Coast. So we're gonna go over there and check it out. There's a nice little boardwalk from the parking lot up to the beach. And Karen and I are hoping to get some uh, mileage in on our feet. And we decided to leave Sir Henry back at her house and he was not happy about that. He really enjoyed being at the beach yesterday. But today we wanna get some walking in and not stop every five feet and uh, lead a blind dog to the water. It's absolutely beautiful out here this Monday morning. Yesterday we were at Jungle Hut and most of the sand was made up of shells. Here there's a lot of sand, really nice sand. The beach goes on forever. So relaxing. There's Karen. She's a good walking beach partner. We both love to walk. If you're a shell collector and rock collector like me, this is like paradise. Karen just said, whenever you come down to the beaches down here, it's a shell surprise. You never know what you're gonna find. She finds uh, sand dollars down here, and I'm just looking for something that's kind of unique and uh, kind of fun to add to my collection. For two days in a row, we have lucked out that we're able to come down here during low tide. And it's just amazing, all the stuff that you can find. Usually this is all underwater, but not today. Out in the water, there's a few pelicans just kind of floating on the water. Yesterday, I didn't get a chance to capture it, but there were probably 15 pelicans flying just just barely above the water. It was so cool. I, did, I had my dog with me. I didn't have an opportunity to get that, but here they are just hanging out. And right after I said that I didn't get any pelicans, these flock of pelicans flew by. So there's the bridge that we just drove over coming to Mantanza Beach. And there are some of the sand dunes. It's absolutely beautiful out here. The weather, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's just perfect. And this sand, this is nothing like the sand. There's Karen over there. It's just a beautiful morning. Love it out here. Oh my God, we've been looking for something like this. Beautiful. And Karen pointed it out. Look at that. I'm so excited to have one of these fully intact. We, yesterday we found some that were like partial, but this is awesome. So we're at a point in our walk coming down to the beach where the intercoastal meets the ocean. And where George and I have been before when we've come to visit is that beach over on the other side. But um, the last hurricane that came through this area 
took out a lot of the sand dunes, so it's really kind of hard to get to. But this beach here, it just goes on for miles and miles. Maybe not miles and miles, but it feels like it when you're walking it. Definitely low tide. What did you find? Barnacle. Barnacle? Uh -huh. That's cool. I'm put it in my bag. Lots of treasures today. Lots of treasures. Ooh, here we go. We're finding all kinds of unique things. But this is all usually underwater. But since we're at low tide, oh my God, there's it's like a treasure trove of cool things that you can find on the beach. I'm finding that little conch shell was the highlight of my trip. I've been down here several times and I've always found broken pieces, but to find a full one intact, wow, hit the jackpot. Here's the top of a snail shell and it almost looks like a mushroom. That's definitely going in our collection. Now this is what I usually find, the top of a little conch shell that's just little pieces. But I just met those ladies down there and they had a really cool smaller conch shell fully intact. So there's been two out here so far this morning. Well, hello there. I'm not sure what kind of birds these are, but they are some kind of crane. And they're just hanging out on one foot. Pretty cool. Yay! Another one. It's not fully intact, but it's still really cool. I love the little sandpipers. They're so cute. And they move fast. There's a pelican. Got a Navy helicopter flying around. Kind of startled him a little bit. He was just hanging out. He or she. It's my good friend Karen. We're down on Mantanza Beach. And you go to quite a few beaches around here in the Palm Coast area of Florida. What's your favorite beach? This is my favorite beach. Why? Because it's so vast at low tide and the shells are always different and so much wildlife like today we've seen so many birds that i haven't seen before that was pretty cool and yeah what's up with that that bird I I, we were trying to figure out what I, kind of birds they were they're really big they're almost like cranes and just super huge but well i'll have to google them and find out what kind of birds they are so how often do you come down to the beach i usually come during the week one or two days okay but this is nice having you here so i can get up and walk in the morning on the beach, which that is one. a treat for me. And she's originally from North Carolina, where I live currently, and she moved down here six years ago. Yep. How does this compare to North Carolina? Of course, when we left, it was pouring down rain. Tropical. I love Topsail. So it's got the white sandy beach like Topsail, only it doesn't have the erosion problem that, that Topsail has and has more beach, but it's well, very similar. I. I do like North Carolina beaches. Yes, they are beautiful. Absolutely. But yesterday we were at uh, Jungle Hut, and uh, tell me the story the last time you went before we went there yesterday. They were rebuilding the dunes, <clears throat> and my husband and I took our dogs for a walk, and we couldn't find our way out because they built the dunes so high, and they had no markers yet, so I had to GPS my way out. And you said you were out there for about two hours yep. lost. Mm -hmm. So it was fun for us to go back yesterday. It was. The beach was a lot nicer and yesterday. we had no problem finding our way no, back. So Karen and I found some pillars. We're not sure what they are. What do you think they are? There must have been a bridge or something here, I believe. That's what it looks like to me. So we're on the intercoastal side of the beach. And you said that a lot of people like to come down here with families? Yeah, because the water's not rough and it's not real deep and the kids can play and there's a lot of tide pools. So a lot of families come here with small children. So we are actually parked on the other side of the beach. We walked all the way down the beach and then walked under the bridge that we drove over earlier. And so this is kind of the more mild side of the beach. Right. 
it, I like the wild side. Better. We like wild side, <laughs> but it's it's pretty. the The sand is wet, which means that that the tide just had gone out. And uh, but usually this whole area is underwater. And uh, we just got lucky the last two days that we were here during low tide. We're seeing a lot of fish jump over here. And Karen said that she saw some turtles poking their heads up. Is that turtles or is that fish jumping? I could just pull up a chair and just sit here and watch nature come alive. I don't know which way he was going, but he was right straight at, in front of my hand, so he could be going that way with the tide. I don't, I don't know. So you said that the turtles, when low tide comes, they ride they, the current out to the ocean. So they ride the current out to the ocean, and then when high tide comes back in, then they come back into the intercoastal. There it is. He just popped his head again. I don't think we I don't think we can see it on the video. I see a lot of fish jumping though. having my feet in the water wherever I go, anywhere I, I, I just saw the turtle again. Oh my gosh. He's just popping his head up. He was going this direction. And, uh, yeah, that was cool. We've got a little guy here, but, um, there's a nice sandbar here that's underwater and there's all kinds of really cool shells that we can find in here. I love this. I thank you so much, Karen. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad I had somebody I, to walk I with. I am having such a blast. This is my happy place. If I'm collecting rocks and collecting shells, it doesn't get any better than this. This pelican has been on the beach since we've been here. And we're not sure if it's hurt or if it's just kind of hanging out, but it doesn't seem to move much. When the helicopter came by earlier, it tried to get up, but then immediately went back down. I hope it's just resting and it's okay, but he's still really cool. I'm about five feet from it. Karen's calling the local fish and wildlife office to see. I just, I really don't think that the uh, pelican is doing well, so we want to have someone check it out. I mean, people are getting pretty close to it, and uh, it's not really moving. It moves its head, but he he's not looking well. My last look at the uh, Atlantic Ocean. George and I will be leaving from here and heading to the Gulf Coast to see some more friends that moved from Napa to Florida. And we're going to check the weather and decide whether or not we're going to go down to Key West and pay homage to Jimmy Buffett or not. Okay, as we were leaving Mantanza Beach, uh, Karen got a call from Noah's Ark uh, Rescue and she wanted us to stop by the ranger station, which is at the Mantanza, what is this? Uh, this is Fort Mantanza on the Mantanzas River. Okay, one correction from earlier, um, we were on the Mantanza River and the Mantanza River connects the intercoastal to the Atlantic Ocean. So right where we were was not the intercoastal, but the Mantanza River. So um, they, we talked to a ranger here and she called somebody and that uh, person is on their way to hopefully rescue the pelican and everything's gonna turn out good. We're sending good vibes, right? Yeah, all good, the positives. All the positives. So Henry doesn't know and see the gecko, or is that a gecko or a lizard? I just call it lizard. And he's your friend? Yeah. Well, well, I've got a couple of them here. Here, feed the lizard. Oh, I want to, I want you to feed him. Not me. So I'm this not is... not touching a mealy worm. 
A little worm, and he just sits there and waits for you to feed him? Yeah, sometimes. And Henry, you haven't, you don't even notice that he's there. Look at how close he is to you. Now, if he could see, he would have right. that gecko. Yeah. Look at him, just chomping it up. He's hungry, man. That's uh, like three of them. Jesus Christ, you got a worm? He says, ha. more, please. Ha. You got a worm? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Want another one? Here. Nope, I didn't mean to hit you with it. That's so cool. It's a hundred of them in there. You get them for like six bucks. You have a hundred? Yeah, a hundred of them. Yeah. And they're inside what? Uh, sawdust? Yeah, sawdust. So how did you train these little geckos? I didn't train them. They just come up to the deck. They're all over the place. Well, I, I know, but them. then you knew to feed them? I'm the, uh, I'm the Florida version of the lonely dude in the uh, park feeding the pigeons. <laughs> In Florida, we feed lizards. And, Hen same, and same see, bed. and look at how close Henry uh, is. That's enough. Jesus Christ, you had how many of them? Four? And, and Henry's like, what What kind of treat do I get? Do you want a lizard? I mean, do you want a worm? <laughs> Don't let him eat the lizard. I would feel bad because he's like your pet. You guys have well, stuff. we're all packed up and we're ready to go. Karen. Lenny. Bye, baby. Bye. It's always hey, nice to do it a is. selfie with you. Let's yeah, we haven't done a selfie. Oh, we gotta do a selfie. Yeah, we'll selfie Henry time. Henry, we're all ready to go. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Henry. Sir Henry. I'm closing it. Karen and Lenny are gonna miss you. I'm closing it. All right, it's closed. And we are Ooh. off to our next oh, adventure. Hot. We're headed yeah, to, uh, so where are we headed, George? St. Saint, Saint James City. Yes. Yes, St. James You'll City. You'll be there by five o'clock. Yay. And we're back on the road again for the next leg of our adventure. Did you have a good time, George? Yes, had a great time. It was great seeing Lenny and Karen. Well, I got this time to spend two really good days with Karen, and uh, George got to hang out with Lenny. They got the football in. I did watch a little football, but not as much as they did, but I definitely got my steps in the last couple of days. Got a lot of beach time, sunshine, shell collecting. Henry had a good time. They also have two dogs, so he got to hang out with them. So follow us on our adventure. Please like and subscribe. Uh, Adventurous Carrie, I'd really appreciate it. And just remember, Ayapoda, it's all part of the adventure.